answering new questions tonight about the testing that's underway, looking for coronavirus antibodies, identifying who's had the virus and therefore who might be immune to it. Channel 2's Robert Arnold looking into the concerns surrounding the lack of regulation for antibody testing. Robert? Given the state of emergency, the Food and Drug Administration allowed a lot of companies to bring an antibody test to market without FDA approval. As you say, the hope was to more quickly find a test that is reliable and accurate, as well as gather as much information as possible as to who actually has been infected with the COVID-19 crisis. However, this has brought up concerns with all the different tests. How accurate are all of these different tests? That also means that you have to be very careful in who you choose to administer this antibody test. So when I prick, I usually say one, two, three. Carol and Pat Prokop give us a quick demonstration. And wipe the first blood spot off first. Of a test many people want. I came to be tested. I think it's important to find out if I have the antibodies. True. But how do you know you're getting the most accurate test? The FDA relaxed the rules, which allowed dozens of companies to bring a test to market without FDA approval. They've done nothing with the FDA. They've shown no testing. They're just launching it out there and say, hey, here I am with another test. Pat Prokop says that's what you want to avoid. He and his wife own ArcPoint Labs in Sugarland. This lab is part of a nationwide chain that is licensed and using nationally recognized protocols. Plus, Prokop says their parent company is working to earn FDA authorization for its antibody test. When looking for a lab, here's some questions to ask. What approvals are they going for? What testing, what re results have they offered up? You know, what kind of protocol are they offering up? You know, it's garbage in, garbage out. If you have bad data out there, you cannot make good decisions. You Eric Blank is with the Association of Public Health Laboratories. Laboratories. The association's concerns come from potentially unreliable tests skewing data on this pandemic. The association's Kelly Robliski also cautions the public to only use established healthcare providers and well-known labs for this test. I know there has been a lot of talk about using this testing to ease restrictions, but I do think we need to just be cautious on how quickly we move in that direction. That last point is very key. I can tell you that a couple of times today we heard from people that, hey, that's great. If I have the antibodies, I can get out again. I can stop wearing this mask. Please be very careful before making that decision. One thing that you have to do is understand the results that you are given. And the only way you can do that is really sit down and discuss those with a doctor because there is not enough body of research done out there to know exactly what level of antibodies you need to have before you actually have an immunity to COVID-19 or how long that immunity will last. One last point here. The FDA in the coming days and weeks is expected to start designating more of these tests under its emergency use authorizations. That's very very important because it means those tests are still under review, but enough of those results have been validated that that particular test can be deemed reliable. So start looking for that in the coming days. Reporting live from Sugarland, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.